Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome to a new episode of our Orchid Care for Beginner series. Today I'm going to show you what happens when you do not water your Phalaenopsis orchid and also how to rejuvenate a severely dehydrated orchid. I recently found at one of my flower shops a very very sad little orchid which to me looks like it could be fragrant and since it was discounted I thought well you know what I'm gonna purchase this orchid and show you how to rejuvenate it and also because I rarely or better said I never actually let my orchids go to this point I think it's a great example for making a new episode of the orchid care for beginner series when are we gonna ever see such a dehydrated orchid in my collection never so initially I just wanted to film this orchid but now I decided it is a great idea to include it in the series so before we start Today's episode together with this entire series is sponsored by RepotMe.com who offers you everything you could possibly need to take care of your orchid from potting mixes to pots fertilizers, accessories, and everything in between. And not only for orchids, but also for other houseplants as well, such as cacti and succulents. So I will link you to their website down below in the description together, as always, with my favorite products that I've been using for years and I really like, and I really think they will be very helpful for you, whether you're a beginner or not. So feel free to check them out at any time. And without further ado, let us start. This video will start abruptly, but just so you know, it's only because it was initially made as just another video on my channel and it's been a while since I filmed it actually. I purchased this yesterday and I've already filmed how she looked yesterday because now she's actually looking a little bit better. But yesterday was not a filming day so I will show you, I will start by showing you what I did yesterday and how the orchid looks today and then as days go by I'll show you the progression of this orchid from a very limp and sad state to something which I hope will be beautiful, green and lush. Right, so with that said, let's first start with yesterday. We're gonna go back in time a little bit and I'll show you how this orchid looked like and what I did so far. All right, so here is what we're working with. I'm not sure what will happen in the future, but if you're seeing this video, chances are everything worked out fine. But yeah, this is the first day of having this orchid. And as we can see, it looks absolutely dreadful. Now, this is one of those, or I hope it is, one of those fragrant hybrids that have become very popular in the European Union. Mind you, there is no fragrance at the moment. There was no fragrance in the store, no fragrance here either. It might be that it's not fragrant, but it could also be that this orchid is super, super stressed and dehydrated and it didn't receive actual proper light, so it's not putting out scent. We will discover if it's fragrant in the future. So, what is wrong with this orchid? It is very, very limp. It has leathery leaves. It's not looking all that bad flower-wise, but flowers are never an indication of health. They are an indication of maturity and maybe how adequate you care for the orchid, how much nutrients you provide. But if it's healthy or happy or not, it's not really an indication. So don't be fooled by the flowers when you're choosing orchids. Just look at the leaves and at the roots. Sadly, in our case, we can see that the pot is covered with a label. Now, luckily, it's easy to remove, so we're going to take a look at the roots, see how we stand. But I do see a trend. More and more orchids have a sort of a print or even a sticker on the pot, which makes it impossible to check the root system unless we unpot the orchid. So personally, I do prefer transparent pots when it comes to Phalaenopsis orchids at flower shops. At the top though, I do see some good roots. Yes, they are extremely dry and all of the medium looks extremely dry, but there are roots and they're alive, they're not mushy, they're stiff, so I do have hope. All of this limpiness and leatheriness spells only one thing, dehydration. Dehydration can be caused though by multiple things, such as not watering the orchid properly, watering it a little too much and overlogging or waterlogging the roots. So in the absence of oxygen, even if they're wet, they simply cannot absorb that water or a total lack of roots. If the orchid doesn't have any root, then it cannot absorb any water. In my case though, since I have these roots at the top, I don't think we are dealing with a total loss of roots. We'll see what's in the pot. I think this orchid has not been watered ever since Christmas. 
to be fully honest, and it's the end of February right now. Yes, these orchids can last that long. They can last two months without watering. Will they be at risk of complications? Yes, but they will still survive. So, since I don't see any rotting of sorts, brown patches, and not even pests on the orchid, I do believe what we're dealing with here is severe dehydration. So, let us reveal what the pot looks like. I haven't looked at it. And my oh my, guys, it looks good. Yes, the roots are very, very dehydrated. They're kind of shriveled, but they are still there. So it's actually super easy to rejuvenate the orchid. I'm not even going to save it. I'm just going to rejuvenate it. Well, if this continues, obviously it's gonna die. So maybe I am saving it. So easy peasy. The first thing we need to do before we go ahead and repot and change the medium and offer a proper fresh medium, we need to hydrate the orchid. You have to know that a severely stressed orchid will be a lot more sensitive to pretty much everything than a very healthy and non-stressed orchid. So even repotting will be more stressful for this orchid. So what I always do, no matter if it's an easy orchid like a Phalaenopsis or something else like an Oncidium or Cattleya, the first thing I always, always do is properly hydrate the orchid, wait a few days and then go ahead and repot if I don't have major issues in the pot like snails, pests, severe root rot and things of the sorts. Right. So to properly hydrate the orchid, I will soak it in water. So what I will need is a decorative pot, which I don't have at hand. I'm unprepared. Be right back. All right, here we are. So I have a decorative container. I'm going to place the orchid inside and then just pour water on top of the roots, next to the roots, just not on the crown. Make sure that the leaves and the crown remain dry, but I'm just gonna pour water all the way to the top. I want the vast majority of roots to get soaked. All right, so now I'm gonna leave this orchid sit like this and soak for 10-15 minutes. I'm gonna go do something else. If it's more than that, it's fine. But you don't need to keep this overnight or hours upon hours or things of the sorts. In my experience, the roots and the medium properly soak within 10 to 15 minutes and then whatever's left in the potting mix after you drain is enough to keep the orchid hydrated. Right, so I will see you in about 10 to 15 minutes, which will be like one second for you. <laughs> right, so uh, didn't do much, but that's the point. You don't necessarily need to do everything once you get the orchid home and sometimes with these sick orchids it's better to take it slow and make sure that the orchid first is rejuvenated and then we go through the motions of repotting and setting it up for success as i like to say so i watered the orchid yesterday i don't know how abruptly i finished the video because stuff came up yesterday as i was saying it's not my filming day so i schedule other stuff in my other days and leave one day for filming so probably stuff happened if the video ends abruptly that's why but let's take a look at it today and look at that the roots are looking much much better i'll give you a close-up they are green and i really don't seem to have much root loss or mushy roots in the pot and the roots on top look very nice and green as well the leaves have started to break up, but this will take a while. So the magic will not happen overnight. We still have some leathery leaves here, some wrinkles. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely normal. Things don't happen overnight, but as you can see, the roots are still wet and that's what we want. We want the roots to be wet for a few days and we also want them to have access to air so we make sure they don't become waterlogged and cannot actually absorb that water so as long as the roots are wet they will slowly absorb that water in the presence of oxygen and that's what we want as far as the scent goes i don't detect anything yet but these things can actually take a while i remember when i got my first leodoro many years ago it did not smell for the first like three days and i was so disappointed but then after three days it just started to smell so i'm gonna give it a little bit more time i'm also going to place it in a bright location not direct sunshine just bright so it gets more light scent is usually more intense in bright light situations even for phalaenopsis so i'll keep you up to date with the smell but i i cannot say i detect anything now 
these flowers might be old as well. I don't know if they're on their way out. Anyway, the scent is not really my concern now. I want to rejuvenate this orchid. So we're still a little limpy, but not as limpy as yesterday and we're looking much better. Right, so we'll see each other when I have more updates to show you. All right, and here we are today, a couple of weeks or even maybe three weeks later, and this is how the orchid looks like. In my opinion, it is completely rejuvenated, and look at that, we did not even lose the flowers, which I am highly surprised. So let's see what we can take away from this video. Number one. Phalaenopsis orchids together with pretty much all of the other epiphytic type of orchids we can easily find in flower shops are highly highly drought tolerance. This is what separates them from other houseplants. If you leave a begonia, um, a phytonia, whatever other plant unwatered in bone dry potting mix for a month, it will most likely not survive. A Phalaenopsis orchid or any other epiphytic orchid will. Will it like it? No. Will it look good? Absolutely not. And will it be susceptible to pests and other types of issues like sunburns? Yes, it will be. So do not let your orchids unwatered for very, very long periods of time. They do need a good schedule of moisture and then a little bit of drying. But if your orchid for whatever reason does not get watered, just know it is quite easy to rehydrate as I showed you today. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to use magical potions, do anything to that water you're providing. The orchid will absorb it. It will not absorb it easier if you put, I don't know, garlic or something in it. The water will be absorbed within a few days by the orchid and even if results are not instant, just wait it out a little bit and in a few weeks the orchid should look great. Now, if the orchid gets severely dehydrated, usually it will lose buds and flowers in an attempt to conserve that energy. This particular orchid already had flowers on which is much or they are much less sensitive to drought. If there were buds, trust me, they would be already yellow and fallen. Um, but flowers can actually last through a period of drought. And if you rehydrate the orchid, you can even have the surprise of having a fragrant orchid if the orchid was supposed to be fragrant. When it is seriously stressed, the orchid can definitely not be fragrant and look very, very sad. Even the color of the flowers can look a little sad. Flowers are never an indication of health, maybe not even of stress as you could see, but when an orchid is perfectly healthy and happy, they will look their best and they will smell their best if they're fragrant. Sally, this orchid is not very fragrant. I was hoping it would be, but no, I can detect a slight something. So who knows, maybe next year when it blooms, it will be better, but for now it's not fragrant. However, I'm very happy I managed to rejuvenate it and make this video for you guys in the hopes that it will help you out. And if you ever find discounted orchids, at the flower shop which are severely dehydrated like this now you know how to act and maybe you can get yourself an orchid that is very beautiful for a lower price and you're gonna save an orchid in the process right so with that said i think it's time to end thank you guys so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this little video and thank you so much repot me for sponsoring yet another episode of this series and with that said hope you'll have a great day and i'll see you next time bye